Hello and welcome to the Raggy's uh, Bear Review. So, uh, literally uh, three days ago, four days ago, I went over to um, Badger Beer's Brewery, you know, Hall and Woodhouse. Went to the Brewery Tap, based in Blanford, aka Blanford Fly. <laughs> um, went into the shop, bought everything that I've not had before and a couple of favourites that I've had before. And picked up this fella. Um, never had this beer before. Seen it recently. I think that was just because I was browsing the shop. So this is Badgers and it's Jock's Dedication. Uh, picture of Jock on the front, I presume. Here we go. And it's uh, a strong ale, 6.2%. Founders Day 2023, bold and resilient. Bottle conditioned ale with tropical hop notes. It says on the back. One of five defining characters, Jock's Dedication. The first of a new series of beers that celebrate key people from our history. John Jock Woodhouse is a bit of a legend around the brewery. Not only for the key role he played in the business, but also for winning the military cross and transforming the SAS with a tough new selection process that is still infamous around the world today. Brewed to a satisfying 6.2% to highlight the year Jock joined the board in 1962, and with hops that spell SAS, Simcoe, Amarillo and Sabro. For a tropical hop nose, we celebrate Jock's dedication in everything he did. And again, like I said, the hops are uh, Simcoe, Amarillo and Sabro, the malts are premium ale, wheat and crystal. Um, allow the bottle to stand for 24 hours before opening and pour carefully. So, I've just took it off there, so hopefully I've not disturbed it too much. And uh, here we go. So, a bit of smoke on the nose just then. Brand new Badger Bears glass that I picked up from the brewery tap slash business centre shop. So I fulfilled one of my um, one of the reasons I did beer reviews. I fulfilled one of those moments the other day, going to Badger Brewery or Badger Beers, all in what else, whatever. Um, I actually managed to get Badger Beer on cask at two different pubs. Couldn't do. And there was a lot of pubs around there that do Badger Beer, you know, so quite the, you know, um, I suppose it's like the Marston's and Green King of Nottingham. You know, we see a lot of Marston's and Green King this way. Um, I dare say Badger's got a better reputation than them, you know. But in any case, so. I would say it's slightly hazy pour. Uh, it looks like a dark gold on there. Uh, it looks different in the camera. For me looking at the camera, what I'm holding, than to what I'm holding in front. Bearing in mind, light plays such a factor. A few mils of head, of white head. Twangy, uh, tropical nose on this. Cheers all. Yes, quite the twang. Um, and, you know, it was it was the moment for me, you know, to get there, uh, get out of the brewery, take a photo of the brewery. Should have booked a brewery tour, really, but I didn't. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, I have seen a lot of breweries just recently, but it's always nice to have breweries that you really want to. Um, but, you know, one of the breweries whose beers I fell in love with from the start of my beer review um, and start of my beer journey, you know, at Sainsbury's, the likes of your Blamford Flyer, Poacher's Choice. Well, they call it Cranbourne Poacher these days, don't they? Um, Golden Champion, Golden Glory, Thirsty Ferret, Tangled Foot. 
Wicked Women came later. Uh, the Partridge one as well. I can't remember what that's called now, but I remember that one as well. And some of the variants over the years, you know, some that have come and gone. Stronger versions of Tanglefoot um, that have come and gone over the years, like an 8% version, I remember at least. But the beer was good. I mean, um, unlike maybe one or two breweries out there, and I won't mention names, uh, who have certainly dropped what they their quality of beer. Uh, Badger still doing what they do. The beer is still the same. That's good. No, let's not be dropping quality of beer. Ooh. There's a lovely maltiness to it. Um, a lovely tropical a sweetness and a twang from the tropical. And it's beers like this that are the reason that I got into just talking about beer. Obviously this channel has always been more than just beer. It was it was from the outset and it will always be that. Um, it's a life, it's a personality certainly a lot about mental health you know i suffer with it on a daily basis you know it um never really never really dissipates um comes and goes and sometimes more with a venom with it as well and uh, a lot of the time it's all up there but you don't know that you know none, a lot of us don't know you know we have these thoughts, sometimes quite dark thoughts, and a lot of it, so much of it, is under our own control, yet we don't know how to control it. Um, but yeah, Jock's dedication about the SAS. I mean, as far as I know, there's there's two bases in pool, and apparently one of them is supposedly uh, Special Forces, but whether it is or not, I don't really know. You know, um, I've been, I was told something, but I can't verify anything. I did see a lot of activity the other day, though, you know, while I was there. Helicopters flying very low. Um, It's really interesting when I look at the likes of Badger Brewery, Badger Beers, aka Hall and Woodhouse. They do tend to brew a lot of the same beers and keep them for years, you know, they don't. They're not like, shall we say, a lot of the breweries behind me who, you know, they, they'll they brew 40 or 50 different beers a year, if not more. Um, some of them beers will never met, never come back again, which is a shame because, you know, sometimes there are some great, there are a lot of great beers in the world. And the fact that they've not come back and not gone into bottle is a travesty. I mean, you look at every single brewery that you're a fan of. Not me, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> But um, look at the breweries you're a fan of. How many of them brew a beer and then you never see it again? And it just creases you, you know. I'm a massive ginger beer fan. And um, Krabby's brewed the um, Krabby's Black, the 6.5% oak aged reserve. An amazing ginger beer. Never came out again. Absolutely gutted. Uh, ended up doing a better version myself, but uh, yeah, that might be a thing. I might do a barrel-aged uh, ginger imperial stout. Oh, now that'd be something. Oh. But in essence, you know, it, it's nice to... to um, to go to a brewery that you're a fan of, you know. I'm a fan of quite a few breweries, obviously, but 
you know, one of the breweries that really uh, I discovered very early in my world of beer drinking. And still to this day, some of the beers are just absolute legend. And I've got Golden Glory somewhere on the wall behind me. <laughs> there we go. I was very vocal about getting this to be rebrewed. Very vocal. And, and I'm really glad they have. I'm going to enjoy sitting back reviewing it, reminiscing over times across the my history of beer that I've enjoyed. Good beers. But, um, yeah, uh, if you get the chance to go to Blandford or that the pool area of the world, there are lots of Badger beer pubs down there. Um, there's some pubs that have got it on cask and keg, some that are just cask. Uh, I was lucky enough to go into the, the visitor centre, which is cask and keg. Uh, the yachtsman in Poole, Hamworthy Pool, which is cask and keg. And then also um, the old Nelson, I think that's what it's called, uh, on cask. Uh, just only on cask, but um, yeah, amazing places, and uh, it's good to get decent beer. Uh, nonetheless, a lovely, uh, quite a twangy tropical beer, although it still is obviously um, modern traditional and not craft. Uh, Six point two percent, you know, decent ABV for a modern traditional beer these days. Um, would I drink it again? Hell yes. Uh, would I like to see it on cask? Oh, wouldn't I just? Will I see it? Probably not. But nonetheless, uh, great to celebrate Hall and Woodhouse's, uh, one of their icons who worked for the, who worked in the SAS as well. So, you know, um, obviously there's more there, uh, storyline than, than could ever be really be told. Um, but yeah, would I drink it again? Certainly a yes. Out of five, all day long, a good 4.5 out of five. It is available from the website, because I know that, because I actually went on the website before and to check what was in. Thankfully, it was there. But, uh, yeah, well worth a try. And that's it for my uh, review. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers, all.